So I have to say, Coach has definitely been having a moment lately. With that being said, I have a little Coach haul for you guys. If you're interested in seeing what I picked up, then just keep watching. Really quick, I do want to introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha. I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're into, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So like I said, I have a little coach haul here. One of the items I've had for a while and the other stuff I'm just unpacking right now. So we will be doing an unboxing of that. So first we're gonna do the unboxing and it came in this huge box that y'all are not gonna be able to see. But it's a huge box for a very tiny item. <laughs> So um, let me just go ahead and open it up. Y'all won't be able to see the unboxing on camera, but you'll see it come out of the wrapper and everything. So here's the first item. And these items I ordered from the Coach Boutique during a sale that they had. I think it was a Mother's Day sale. So it was 30% off. And one of these, well, let me open it and then we'll talk about it. I have seen this in person. So this is not like a blind unboxing. I actually saw this in store when I was looking for something else. And um, when I saw it was on sale, I knew it was the time for me to at least try it <laughs> and see if I like it. So let me take off all this wrapping because I have a ton of wrapping on this. So just a moment. So that took way too long. It was probably like a full on 10 minutes that it took me to take off all the wrapping. But finally got it done. So here she is. This is the Coach Kip Turnlock Crossbody. And it is a little cutie. So this is like a mini bag. This is part of Coach's, I think it's called their archival collection where they're looking back at their archives and kind of redoing bags from their past. So this is based on like an older bag. This bag make, is made out of the glove tan leather, which I believe is the first type of leather that Coach used in their bags. So this is what it looks like. And of course it has a turn lock here that Coach is known for. Um, on the side, you see it's just plain. You do have a little hang tag here. On the back, you do have a little slip pocket, but I can tell you not much is going to fit in there. Other side is the same. Of course, this one has gold hardware. And I just realized I forgot to take off another piece of plastic. So let's take that off. All right, so that's done. So <laughs> the hardware is like the antique gold that Coach uses quite a bit. The strap is adjustable and also detachable. So you could carry this just as a little handheld or you could attach a different strap, which I'm thinking about doing, but I'm not completely sure about yet. Um, but this is what it looks like. When you open it up, inside it is a small bag. So you just have a little opening and a little slip pocket in the back. And then you have the coach little tag right there. So. Hopefully you guys can see this, but this is a small bag. Also, there is a card slot here. I took out the paper so you guys can see the card slot. And it actually has two little slots in there. So you could really use that if you didn't want to take up values, valuable space in this bag by using your own card holder. I probably won't do that because I feel like I would forget <laughs> that it was in there, but you could do that. Now this bag, like I said, I got it on sale and it was, the original price of it is $225. This is at the Coach Boutique, not the outlet. Um, during the Mother's Day sale, I got 30% off. So I think I got it for about $157 if I remember correctly. So I had to pick it up. I saw this in Macy's one day when I was just walking through and I thought it was super cute. But I wasn't in there to find something for myself and so I didn't spend much time with it. I just kind of looked at it and said, oh, that's cute and kept walking. So I am going to hold it up next to my Coach Cassie so you guys can see the size difference. So this is the Cassie, which is about the same size as Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. And this is the Kip. So you can see the Kip is a little baby bag. Now I have a big phone, so we're going to see if my phone can fit in here. I have the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So let's see moment of truth all right so it fits in there but you can see it's in there diagonal and that will basically take up my whole bag i'm gonna see if i can fit it just on one side of the accordion or not accordion but like the front or the back of the bag okay yeah i can slide it in there in the front of the bag 
it doesn't distort this or it does kind of distort the sides when you do that um so that would be up to you on whether you think you should do that if you have the same size phone more than likely i will carry it like that just because i like to be able to fit my phone in my bag if i need to and for this kind of bag of course i want to keep it for a long long time but at the same time i paid 150 dollars for it not like two thousand dollars for it so for me if it distorts the bag a little bit i don't think that's going to be noticeable number one and number two i don't care that much it sounds really bad but <laughs> i would rather be able to use my bag how i want to and have it not look completely perfect because like when you look at it you can't tell that it's distorted at all but when you look at the side you can see my phone kind of like right there but i could put in their diagonal and it does not do that so if I put it in there, diagonal, then you can see it doesn't distort the side of the bag at all. So I could kind of put my things on either side of it, but this is a tiny bag. Now this is glove tan leather. So from what I've read about it, the leather will soften up over time. So it may become more pliable. So it may seem a little bit larger over time when it's not so stiff, but I love it. It's super cute. And on the bottom, it just says genuine glove tan leather. I forgot to show y'all a little pocket. I don't think the phone will fit in the pocket because like I said, that pocket is really tiny. But we'll try. Okay, yeah, the phone does not fit in the pocket. So this is my phone. <laughs> Basically, it's the same size as the bag. I could probably stick it like this vertically. But you see how much that sticks up, so I wouldn't do that either. So this is just a little mini miniature bag, but I thought it would be nice because... I wanted a miniature bag that could just hold like the bare essentials. So something like this for me would be perfect to run to the grocery store, run to go pick up my kids from school or whatever. And it's not a wallet on chain, so I don't really have to worry about like switching over my cards and all that stuff. Just a little bag to run quick little errands. I find that I don't carry that much stuff with me on a regular basis for those types of activities. So I'm excited to play around with this bag and I am happy that the strap is adjustable and removable so that way it gives me a little bit more leeway um, with the bag. I have another item in this box and in its all wrapped up so let me pause the video and unwrap this for you okay so i finally got this one unwrapped and again it took me a super long time <laughs> but here it is so this again is the coach kip turn lock crossbody however this is in the natural vegetable tan leather so my little story on why i got both of them so i saw this one on the website and immediately fell in love with the color i think it's absolutely gorgeous this natural color just looks very natural. <laughs> I love that there's a little bit of gradation as far as the coloring goes. I don't know if you guys can tell, but you can see it's a little bit lighter in the middle and a little bit darker along the edges. I love that. So I saw it online, fell in love with it, but I kept telling myself I don't really need this color because I have my YSL um, college bag that's in brown with gold hardware. And this isn't brown, this is definitely a light tan. But I was saying, you know, do I really need this? Is, it, is this a duplication? Like, is this gonna even get used or am I always gonna reach for that YSL bag? And so I really, really loved it, but I was unsure if it would have a place in my collection, honestly. So since they were having the sale, I went ahead and ordered this one. And I ordered the black one because I knew the sale would be over soon. So I ordered both because the black is more practical, but black bags just don't call my name as much as this color bag does. So look at that. They are both beautiful. So the black bag, I don't have a mini bag in black besides a like wallet on chain that is kind of more of a dressier bag. Um, so I don't really wear that one as much on a casual basis. This will be something that will be used very casually for me. So I knew this had a place in my collection. This one, I'm not so sure about. I love the color and I'm pretty sure I'm keeping it, but we shall see if it stays in my collection forever. Cause like I said, if I don't reach for it, then I'll probably get rid of it, but I absolutely love it. So I knew I could not pass this bag up while it was on sale because you know, things sell out at coach and then you never see them again. <laughs> and for the price, I just felt like, 
I couldn't go wrong if I got it home and didn't like it like I ordered the stuff but if I got it shipped to my house and didn't like the color as much in person then of course I could have just returned it um, but if anything like I still love the color of this one more than the black the black is basic and definitely could be like a utility bag I can carry this whenever and not have to worry about it this one I just feel like will go with more of my wardrobe so So the next bag I've had for a little bit and I've carried it like one time and I did feature it in a vlog. So if you watch my vlog, you've already seen this. And I also had it in a picture on Instagram, but I wasn't really focused on the bag on Instagram, but it was shown and people noticed it. So we are talking about none other than the Coach Pillow Tabby. And I have it in this beautiful green. This beautiful green is the whole reason that I ordered this bag. This bag has been all over social media. It is super popular right now. It's been sold out everywhere. Um, the green, I can't find anymore online. I've searched and searched. I search like every day trying to see if it pops up somewhere again, but it looks like it's done for. So I love this color green. And I saw this bag a few months ago and was unsure about it, honestly, because I hadn't seen it in person. And then when I went on there on Coach's website, I was pretty sure I wanted to get it. I went on there and it was like two left in stock. <laughs> so I ordered it and when I unboxed it, I tried to film it, but honestly, I was a little bit disappointed because I'm pretty sure this bag was probably on display somewhere. And you know, I like to get like fresh bags out of the packaging and this wasn't like that. So I held on to it for a couple weeks to decide if I was going to return it or start carrying it. And the more I looked at it, I just fell in love with it and was like, Aisha, this really makes no sense. The bag still looks brand new. I could tell that it was probably a um, floor piece because it wasn't wrapped like Coach wraps this stuff. And I felt like the dust bag was very small, but I've seen other people say that too. So I don't know, maybe it's just my dust bag. <laughs> maybe it's just a dust bag they have that goes with this bag, but I'm glad I got it. I love this color. The color's now sold out. The bag is of course puffy all around, comes with this huge uh, puffy tag, which honestly I'm not sure how I feel about it, but I'm leaving it on for now. Of course it comes with the two straps. I feel like this bag is all over social media, so nobody needs to see it anymore, but <laughs> it comes with a short handle and then a longer handle that can be used to carry crossbody. This is the regular size or the first uh, pillow tab that came out so I believe it's the 26 so this is the larger one um, they do have a miniature version out now not in this color but in other colors and um, those have been selling out quick as well but this is the original larger size so on the back no pockets or anything the hardware is the antique gold from coach and then this front piece is leather covered metal you open it up it's a magnetic closure and inside you have uh, a big pocket here a pocket here a zip pocket here and that's it so let's see if you can see this now I will say the leather on this bag feels extremely soft and pliable which concerns me just a little bit because I don't know how this bag is gonna hold up over time uh, and that was like a hesitation that I had about the bag is because I just don't know how it's gonna do and it's new so you don't have much to go off of so hopefully it still looks this good like five years from now but i honestly don't know it also feels like it could easily scratch i don't have any scratches on mine but like i said i've only carried this bag one time so i kind of don't i think if you're looking for an everyday bag this probably is not it i mean even if you got the black i feel like the leather could scratch and so i don't know if i would want to carry this bag every day now I've been seeing a lot of people switch out the handle and put like a gold chain and I've thought about doing that but I haven't done it as of yet and when I did carry it I just carried it in the crook of my arm like hit, like so and I also carried it crossbody and I like it both ways. So I am excited to continue using this bag and see how it works out for me. I absolutely love the color. Um, so I'm glad that I went ahead and pulled the trigger when I did because like I said, it's no longer available now I love the orange that they had as well, but now I can't find that either. So <laughs> Oh, well, uh, I guess it wasn't meant to be but this green is gorgeous and I feel like even though It's a bright pop of color. It still can go with 
a lot of things if that makes sense so this is what she looks like that will be it for my coach haul i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below if you have any of these bags and what you think of them and if you have the tabby do you think it's worth all the hype that is getting on social media right now let us know that down below as well if you did enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe also go ahead and follow me over on instagram where you can see my little sneak peeks and such thank you guys so much for watching i enjoyed making this video and i will see you in my next one bye